Welcome to my channel. Hey guys, it's your boy Kaz, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset of the G Box Q made by Mactricom. Okay, so I was having this issue where my box kept on restarting. So, just to uh, do a complete flash, um, there's a few things you want to look at. At first, there's the power, there's the AV that you're interested in, the Ethernet, the HDMI, and there is also two USBs at the back of the G Box Q. Okay, back to the AV. This is in this AV uh, that's covered by tape, you can see that I already punched a hole with my toothpick or screwdriver. Uh, you will feel a button on the inside. All right. So let's plug it up and let's see what happens. One of the first things you need to get, you need to get the firmware. The firmware will be in the description below. Just put the the link in your browser and download it. It'll be a zip file, put it on the SD card and put the SD card in the SD card slot on the G-Box. Uh, after getting that, get the toothpick or small screwdriver, put an AV slot, hold the button down. Whilst holding the button down, put the power cord in. All right, hold the button down for about 10 seconds. Don't mind the screen coming up, just hold it down for about 10 seconds. After holding it for about 10 seconds, you, you can release it and it will go into its boot loop screen okay so you can just use your mouse or you can use the the remote that's given to you so the first thing you want to do you want to factory reset do not partition beware do not partition factory reset go to the yes button and press yes it's going to say erase for a while then at the bottom left corner you would see it says complete upon completion okay so that's now completed so now you want to install from external ext then you want to go to your SD card and now you want to find where the file is on your SD card and which folder my own is in the Gbox Q folder. So then you just install the the firmware that's in the description below. This takes a bit of time as the firmware is the whole operating system of the device. Be aware that this is going to erase everything that's on your box. It's a factory reset. It's also going to erase a lot of the problems, if not all the problems that your, your box has when it comes to software. Now, if it's hardware and the problem still persists after this method, then you can consider getting a new box because there's probably a hardware issue, not a software issue. As you can see, this takes time. Upon completion, then you go to reboot now right to the top the very first option and it's going to reboot just like normal but it's going to reboot as if it's a new G-Box and it's the first time that we're setting it up okay you see the Matricom sign slightly changed because it's updated now and once again this method uh, completely erase everything um, along with your movies and erase all the errors. So now we go back in the media center where the XBMC is located for the Gbox Q. That's factory installed. That's loading up. And now that we move around in the menu you can see that it doesn't give me that reset anymore. Let's go in a few options and see if it's if it persists. But I, as you can see that, that problem isn't there anymore. So thank you for watching, please subscribe to my channel, um, look in the, in the description below for any details, the, the link for the firmware and so forth. So have a great day and I hope this helped you man. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe.